We are another step closer to reopening more local businesses. The county is pushing forward with plans that await the green light from our governor. News 18 Netta Ronport joins us live to explain more on this major push here. Good morning, Netta. Yeah, good morning. So there are many local businesses all across San Diego right now waiting uh, to find out what the governor says. Now the county voted four to one to go ahead and propose this pilot program that would allow for not just in in restaurant dining, but also hair and nail salons, gyms to open up here in our area at 25% capacity. So let's uh, explain some of those details. It's all based on the statistics. According to Dr. Wilma Wooten, the county's health officer, she he believes that we may have potentially peaked when it comes to COVID-19 cases as of April 20th. They also pointed out other factors indicating San Diego's readiness to move forward with opening more businesses, including a positive COVID-19 test rate under 4%, a two week supply of personal protective equipment and a testing capacity that exceeds the state requirements. So the Board of Supervisors unanimously agreed to accelerate into phase two, and that would allow for the reopening of in-store retail and dine-in restaurants as well as swap meets all provided these businesses have those certain safety modifications like social distancing and sanitation. If the governor approves that plan, these reopenings could take place as early as today. But then the board went another step further. They voted four to one to ask the governor's permission for this pilot program, and that would enter us into phase three as early as Friday. This would include those hair and nail salons, fitness centers, condo and apartment complex, swimming pools, all capped at 25% capacity, also modified youth sports outdoor religious services, support groups, less than 10 people and research labs. Now the supervisors didn't necessarily agree. Let's take a listen to what they had to say. We have a plan before us that is a very responsible plan. It's based on facts. It's based on science. You know, when lives are ruined from financial devastation and staying at home it has its own behavioral health issues. I certainly understand the tremendous economic impact uh, that this is having, and I understand the tremendous pressure uh, that people are feeling, um, but I think that the uh, lessons of history and lessons of the present with the number of uh, countries guide us uh, to a belief that doing this in a, a thoughtful and methodical way is... So that was Supervisor Nathan Fletcher, who was the one who opposed that plan to move forward into phase three. He said, let's go through phase two first, see how that goes before we then move on to the next. Now, on a statewide level, the governor has said that we could all be ready for that phase three as early as June. So right now, the San Diego area is really wanting to push forward with it to start things up again as early as this Friday. Now, the county's chief executive officer did say they remain committed to abide by the state's order. So again, it's going to be all left up to the governor, which we'll wait to find out today what he has to say.